Well, good morning. I hope you're glad to be here to celebrate the Lord this morning together, whether you're inside or outside. And um, let's go ahead and start with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the amazing God that you are. And Lord, we pray that you would bless the service, Lord, that you would be lifted high. And Lord, we pray that we would learn more about you and apply it to our lives, Lord. We give you all the glory and all the praise. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Good morning to everybody. Good morning. See y'all here. Nice 
sunshine out there. The day's nice and clear. I'm out there talking to some folks, and it's just nice to see everybody. I wish we had more time, or I had more bodies, or something. Get around and talk to some more folks, and and um, it's good to see and talk to the folks I talked to today. Hope you all have had a good week. Um, let's see. Before I go any further, I'm gonna go ahead and get birthdays out of the way, so you can let Faye relax, and also too, so I don't forget. Okay, I just had it up my closer. Um, <clears throat> all right, so this week, uh, March 7th through the 13th, we have birthday Fred Andrews, his birthday's today, uh, Katie Winstead, Kinley Jackson, and David Lohman, that's who's on our list. So if you see those folks or you, uh, from a distance or you get to talk to them, say happy birthday, uh, let them know we sang to them today. Uh, let's go ahead and sing happy birthday to them. the stew we got it's going to be uh, cooked up and ready to be handed out on March 20th right um, they were getting the pots and stuff ready we walked by here once what Friday no Thursday night Friday Friday, Friday. <laughs> um, it's one of these days this past week um, so they were out here getting that stuff ready uh, so be in prayer for them is it still planned to be more stew than last time two pots two pots this time right so get your orders in um, and uh, as we've already learned, if there's extra, it doesn't last very long. All right, so I think the word went out, and like three minutes later, somebody was coming down the road getting the, getting the last of it. Uh, it's past time. So uh, get your orders in to Charles, uh, uh, Diane, Tommy, or Robin, and of how much you want. Let's see. One thing, um, too, we, this happens a lot, and we didn't, I don't know, if you see flowers laying around the church area or up in, in our yard or across the road, sometimes these flowers from the from the cemetery get blown all over the place, and I'm not sure what to do with them. Uh, but anyway, they're just blowing all over. Um, I don't think it's anybody messing with stuff or, you know, picking them up. I think sometimes the wind just picks them up and throws them everywhere. Uh, Thursday evenings, um, we're having our Bible studies, uh, unless just something comes up, but we're having our Bible studies on Thursday evenings starting at 6.30. Uh, we come in, sit down, chat for about a half an hour, 25 minutes, half an hour, just catching up, you know, just real relaxed. And then about 7 o'clock, uh, we started off with a little study, and we started a study in Revelation. Um, so we, we've only done what, one study, I think, so far, right, Charles? So just one study so far. So right there at the beginning, and it's a real life study. We, we the study lasts for 15, 20 minutes, and then we pray, and then we you know we head out. But it's just a real informal time. We meet here at the fellowship hall. Uh, so that's Thursday evenings, uh, 6:30. Um, Wednesday morning, Bible study is going to be starting again soon. Don't ask me which date yet, but I just want to kind of give a heads up. We're going to be starting that back up, and we're also going to be starting with a new study. Uh, so, and those those uh, start at Wednesday mornings at 10 a.m. And it's more of a more of an in-depth study usually when we do those things. So, we'll be praying about that when um, we have time. Youth also, we're going to be starting that back up. I, I went to lunch with Nick um, recently, and we were talking about you know how do we start youth back up? What does that look like? What do we want to do? Um, I was even in contact with another church about that they have a really small youth group about combining and even switch, you know, just that. But then as we got to talking, well, they have their youth group was a lot younger kids, like third, fourth, and fifth, you know, just really young. It's like, I don't think that'll work, you know. Um, but either way, um, be praying about that. Um, we was even talking about making an event to go see a new movie coming out, King Kong versus Godzilla. And we and Nick were talking about that. I grew up with Godzilla, so um, we'll be praying about that one. Um, but I'm not sure exactly in what form we'll be starting to move back up, but it's definitely something that's on my heart. We want to get started back up. Uh, so be praying about that with me. Um, two more things. Red Oak, they're going to be having an Easter event, if you want to call it that. They're going to be starting on like a Friday with it's evening. A, it's a dinner from 4.30 to 7. Okay, on Friday. That's it's raising Friday. funds for okay. um, someone who needs some medical care. Okay. You'll probably have to say that in the mic for them to hear it outside. I will. Um, but it's going to be starting up on Friday evening. Is that, is that right? It's just Friday evening and Sunday morning at for sunrise. Nothing on Saturday? I don't believe so. Okay, either way. There's going to be more information coming on that. Um, but we was talking to Jean yesterday, or Angela was, and, uh, you know, just asking, you know, if we want to participate and all those things. But I just want to give a heads up on that. Um, and I'll give more information coming up. But they wanted to do something for Easter. And as you know, they always put on something really good. I know... Um, 
Um, what's her name? Lane Cooper. And Lane Cooper. Good. Coming, they're coming Friday night. They're going to be there Friday night. Her and her husband uh, doing some stuff, and then yeah. So I'm going to give more information next week. Uh, maybe on a call coming up, but um, the Reddit they're doing an Easter event, and then the vaccines. I know about every time I, I talk to some folks, but every other person or every couple people I talk to been talk about the vaccines, the COVID vaccines. Um, hopefully, all are been able to get that. Uh, so far, it's looking like it's doing pretty good, as far as I know. Um, I was one person that wanted to go volunteer to get it, but for whatever reason, the Lord put on my heart to go ahead and get it. So I got my first round uh, this past week. Made me feel real sleepy. <laughs> I felt like I took Nyquil, uh, but other than that, it's pretty good. Um, but anyway, yeah. So I mean, if the Lord puts it on your heart to get that, then. Uh, find a place that does it. I know CVS said they're going to start doing it. Uh, the health department's doing some. Uh, VCU's open it up to, to, to family members and things like that. But anyway, uh, it looks like it's everything's rolling with that. And of course, that's up, up to each individual, obviously. Um, but anyway, I want to put out, that out there. Okay, there's all the announcements on there. Um, prayer list. I hope you all got a prayer list today. I added like a little thing on it. You know, you can fill in the blank there. You know, who, who does the Lord want you to pray for today? And I know in the past we've said, you know, as you leave in the parking lot, ask the Lord who, who do you want you to pray for. And, and that's a neat way neat way to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Because sometimes, uh, you know, people will say, what does the Holy Spirit sound like? Or, what, you know, what is it? How do you know the Holy Spirit's talking to you? One of the easiest one is, you know, look out at a group of people and say, who do you want me to pray for, Lord? Who do you want me to pray for? And it's interesting, sometimes the Lord, you know, he'll put a face in your mind. You almost can't forget it. You know, and that's the Holy Spirit just putting it there. And sometimes trying to discern your own thoughts from the Holy Spirit is, is you know, sometimes difficult because, this, you know, the Holy Spirit's part of us. But um, anyway, it's a, a neat thing. Uh, so, and then Carol pointed out, I didn't know this, uh, that the different, for Francis Carey, he said you should spell the name F-R-A-N-C-E-S because that's how you spell the female version of Francis. I didn't know that. <laughs> is that, is that right? Or I got yeah, doctors again. Right. Okay, I didn't know that. So I learned something new today. So that's Francis Carey. So we, um, I have a misspelling there. All right, I think that's all the stuff I wanted to say about, about all that stuff. If you have any prayer requests, just make sure you get a hold of me, either like on today's Sundays, or you write, you write a prayer request and throw it into the buckets we have, or uh, somehow we'll get it on our list, and, and we'll be praying for those folks every week. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pray, and if you want to go ahead and turn to Mark chapter 6, we're going to continue our study uh, in the Gospels today. So Mark chapter 6. Um, but let's go ahead and pray. Dear Lord, as we come to you in prayer, Father, I thank you for our Sunday. Thank you, Lord, for just everyone here today. Lord, I pray you bless our hearts. Lord, heard some blessings outside. Lord, I pray you bless these individuals, Lord. We just had a, uh, you just, um, in your timing, Lord, of course, your timing is perfect, but you uh, saw fit to go ahead and let them at least start climbing out of a big trial, Lord, and, and start seeing some light at the end of the tunnels. So Lord, I thank you, Lord, for that. Be with those people today, Lord, that are hurting and, and just have hard thing, hard times. Lord, I pray you'll be with them and comfort them, Lord. Let them know that your promises ring true, Father, that you're always with us and you won't forsake us. Bless your word as we listen today, Lord. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. So Mark chapter 6, we're continuing where we left off last week, chronologically anyway. Last week we were talking a little bit about some of the last instructions that Jesus gave his disciples before they went off preaching. 